Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfall. And I accidentally forgot to turn on the game's health for myself here. Um, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play adventure. I've got a special guest here today. Uh, you'll never guess who it is. Jaxors! It's Jaxors. She's back. It's been a while. <laughs> a little bit. Um, more than a little bit. <laughs> more than a little bit. Um, and today we're playing a game. You can see some people on screen here having a delicious meal. Uh, Not anymore. <laughs> the meal ran away. <laughs> the meal ran away. Um, you'll never guess what game this is. These people are actually goblins. And the game we're playing is goblins. Goblins. You guys never saw that coming. But this poor king, uh, somebody's in a very uh, Hugo's House of Horrors uh, 3 vibe, made a voodoo doll. They knew how to... They did, yes. They knew what to put in. Yeah. And they're messing with this guy. <laughs> they are. So we're playing Goblins 1 today. And have you played Goblins 1 before? I have not. No, so I thought we were I talking had. about what uh, retro games might be fun for Jaxors to play with me here. And she remembered the Goblin series and was like, oh yeah, we played those Goblin games where you're the Goblins. And I was like, okay. And so I got the, I had the series already from GOG. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm going to load up the floppy version and the CD version. You can tell me which one seems more reminiscent of what you've played. And she was like, neither. <laughs> neither. She's like, I, haven't, I don't think I've played this one. I'm like, this is the first one. So it turns out you've probably played the second the and The second one. one and third one. Yeah. Of course, not the first one. Why would that make any sense at all? So this will be a game that's, I guess, a bit nostalgic for you, but not... It's like when uh, it's like when I play a new uh, Super Nintendo game, RPG or something, that I've never played before. It's nostalgic because it's the style, Yep. but it's not something I've played before. No. So I think this will be pretty fun. I have printed out the hint book. Jaxors is in charge of the controls. And... Uh, I'll help you out if you need it. We haven't read the instructions. We'll see how this is going to go. Do you read the instructions for old video games? Not usually. I mean, like, I played the Goblins games before, so, like, I know how to yeah. click on a screen. But, yeah, but that's the thing. Is that, like, with old games, you either read the entire instructions on your way home from the store because you are excited about the game, mm -hmm. or you maybe got the game through less than uh, stellar means, and you might not have <laughs> the instructions to read anyways. I don't think we had the instructions when we had the original Goblins games, yeah. as far as I can remember. So uh, we are playing the CD version today because it's got a little more ambient sound and the, the voice of the guy singing in the first section, despite being terrible, was a little <laughs> less terrible. Um, so grab the mouse and have at it. You are now in charge of the screen here. You've got three Goblins. This is the... So the thing that's different about this game compared to the other ones. And you can change what you're doing by right-clicking. It changes it to the hand. Um, each of the goblins kind of has its own power. Oh, no. <laughs> right? The guy with the beard, he's the one that can cast magic spells. Um, this guy can pick up and use things, I believe, is his uh, deal. So he just kind of shrugs when you try to use stuff, unless he can actually use it. So that's the pickup. And then if you change it to the fist, it's going to be the try to use it. But you see, he's just shrugging. And what's this guy do? This guy is the puncher. <laughs> the puncher. Yeah, so he will punch on things, like knocking on doors. Not that great at his job. <laughs> no, I mean, he knocked on the door. The That's true. Like it. That's true. The other guys can't, can't knock on Sometimes doors. you gotta wind up for the knock, though, you know what I mean? Winds up. Punch, punch, punch. Not much is going on. He's knocking again. Hmm. So I do remember a bit about the other games. So you can use the other characters while the other people are doing something. Yeah, I think that it's only sometimes in this one that you can do it. But like when you're walking to do something, I think sometimes you can switch people. He can't quite get where he's trying to get him to go. What about this thing up here? Hmm. Well, you're on the right track, actually. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what did this guy just hold out? I think he was just doing his, uh, his, little, like, his little idle animation. Let's see. This rabbit keeps on popping up. I don't, I don't know. What if well, I will read you the first um, couple hints here. Okay. See if they help. It says, no matter what I try, I can't get into the wizard's house. 
-hmm. The answer to that hint is, don't try to get in the house. Interesting. Uh, it also says every time I open the gate, my goblin gets hit. Don't try to open the gate. Interesting. So those are your two clues so far. So you're. So we're not trying to get. In you're the not house. trying to get in the house, and you're not trying to open the gate. Are we? Oh, it seems oh. that you figured things out pretty quickly. Oh, who's the picker upper? This guy, right? Yep. You can also switch them by clicking on the uh, little globe at the bottom, and it cycles through. Oh, okay. In case the guy's behind a tree and hard to click on. Yep, makes sense. There we go. He doesn't want to pick it up. Interesting. That's weird. He's the picker upper. He's supposed to be the picker upper. He's the. <laughs> the thing is, the. the... Yeah, you're, if he's supposed to be the one to pick it up. You might just have to hit it at just the right spot. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this. There you go. <laughs> so the the actual pointer arrow of that hand when you're holding it up is like between the thing finger and the thumb. Okay. So now you have a horn. Do to use the horn. horn. You switch to the hand icon that looks like a fist, and then you, like, he's holding a horn. So you, like, click on him, I guess, to try to use it. Oh, he put it back down. You're on the item hand. So now I try to use this to yeah. use it? Yeah. What should we do with the horn? Interesting. Oh, a bridge oh. fell out of the tree. Now, I will say this. You've used every character so far. But one. But one. But the spell guy. Yes. But... Do we need to use the spell guy? Well, you do. And I don't know if I want to tell you how, but you've made it very difficult for you to do it. He's, <laughs> he's holding a skull, it looks like, when he throws it up. Because he's stuck behind the... No, no, not because he's stuck behind the thing, but because, uh, the thing... Well, I don't know if I want to give too much away. Right <laughs> uh, I haven't screwed up although already, have you I? Haven't, you haven't screwed up, no. Uh, I don't think, other than getting yourself killed, I don't think you can uh, softlock the game. Oh, interesting, he had the... Okay, so we can only have one thing at a time. one at a time. Can you do with a branch? I'm gonna say this: it's gonna be really hard for you to do what you need to do while that guy's holding the branch. So I think we need to get the horn back. Does somebody else have to hold the branch? Perhaps. He needs to have his fist out to do things. Ah! Ah! He, he can't. He can't. Old things, he just magics them, he but that works. Magics them, I see. So now you only have one person that can pick things up. So this is what's weird about it is that you have to be at ex the exact right spot too, or else he's not picking it up. And look, go! You have to go. So now you just walk over there. Oh, you put it down. You can't go now. <laughs> Probably want to say, yeah, switch to the walk. And just walk, walk off to the left. There's your code. V Q V Q E D D. Yeah. So what do I do with that now? I don't know. I was assuming we were going to go to the next screen. Hmm. Try clicking on go again. <laughs> your cursor has gone to the left a little bit. Oh, no, you just click again to go. Okay. okay. There you go. That's why we couldn't see the... That was it, really? That's the first screen. We're done the first screen. It's the tutorial. You've been tutorialized. I guess this is Goblins 1. It is. <laughs> I mean, there are, like, 20 scenes. I guess that's true. Um, most of them... Some of them... I was so perplexed because I thought we must go into that house somehow. Unless I can't pick them up. can't pick the apples up. Okay, well, I'm assuming we need you probably need that this now. since we made it. Yeah, we're we're at the diamond mine now, is what this place is called. Um, and I guess if you look over in the corner, there's something sparkling at the diamond. There mine. is. It's almost like we need to use our axe over there. Yes. I'm thinking, can we use our magic guy to get us across? 
Will you help us? Mm. Not very helpful. Mm -mm. It's interesting because like the items in the game seem to have like outlines, whereas the um, the rest of it does not. The rest of it does not. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that the things that you interact with are always going to have those other lines. What does this guy do again? He's the puncher. He's the puncher. He punches things. The puncher. Hmm. Can he punch the apples off? He might be able to. Wow. I don't think they like that. No, not... They're getting pretty mad, yeah. <laughs> And now they're oh, all I gone. Think about it, think about it. Oh, they're growing back. Okay, so okay. punching them is really not good. Not good. Yeah. Everybody hates punching apples. <laughs> Luckily, they grow back. Luckily. Well, I mean, you got one other guy that can interact with items other than picking them up. That's true. Can we have the wizard? Can you reach the apples on both sides? You probably can. So you can make them grow really big, and then we'll use them across somehow. Are you gonna go up there, dude? Maybe, can you not get up to not the guys up, up there? Maybe, because the other guy's up. He's come down. Can you go up? Oh, nope. it, it turns out, I think, it's, I think it's in the later games that you can uh, move two guys at once. Uh, are you gonna go up there? He's refusing to go up there. Hmm. Can he... The apples. He does not talk Let me to see that mouse for a second. Oh, wait, is this guy in his way? That doesn't make any sense. Whoops. Interesting. He's just not, he won't pathfind. There you go. There we go. My ah, God, the it's amazing! Now you can do it. That's good. I mean, you got more than one apple there. This guy's gotta come down and get assuming. I think that. You can it, only. It might just be that the old guy doesn't. Uh, doesn't pass on the other ones, do, because it felt like with them. You just Say that, yeah, and it's real easy. Is he just gonna, like. Oh, nice. It's too big to punch into a million pieces. There you go. Okay, let's go get this apple. <laughs> He's just punching the stairs. <laughs> it's because he's not the pick, picker upper. Yep. What are we going to call him? Do you see you have to drop the... You don't... If you pick up an item when you have an item, you will drop the other item okay. in its spot. Big Apple 2. That's the big hint. Not They're the like, Big Apple 1. It's not the first Big Apple. Not the first one. Ah, there's a worm in it. That's actually... Uh, that's weird. Oh, hmm. I think I know why it's doing that. Why would it do that? I mean, that's Big Apple 2. So we need Big Apple 1? It sounds like you need Big Apple 1. Well, let's give this guy... He's being a lot more cooperative. Yeah, I don't know. He's just like not about that first apple. Or big apple too, I should say. Maybe it was like just in a position that he couldn't uh now, can you reach those other apples too? Yeah. Oh, the apples are so big now. But I will not pick them up. And the other guy can't pick them up out of the tree. Oh, because the guy's going to punch them. Because he's going to punch them. <laughs> no, I didn't say you. Come back here. You go over here. Oh, I see what the problem is. If you click up there, uh, they're like, there. like and then I don't know how to get up north, there. They can't pathfind you. Yeah. They have to be, like, kind of near it. That's weird. Okay, come punch this out. It's saddle. too bad it can't land on people's heads. That would be great. I feel like... In the other one, it would, because there was other ones where, like, if you had, like, pepper and you sprinkled it on somebody, mm -hmm. even if it wasn't the person you were supposed to sprinkle pepper on, they'd, like, sneeze. Oh, no! Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I didn't realize that <laughs> I that didn't realize that either. Well. I was not paying attention. Like... Oh, man. All right. Well, we got to click again here. Okay. 
It's gonna be pretty fast to get through this now, though, because we're like... We kinda know. We know which ones we can't do, so... We'll just get the first three apples that we can get. Big, big apple three. Three, it's a no go. Three, one, and two. Fine. You punch big apple four. You better hope that you have a parachute. <laughs> He's just casting spells willy nilly. Yep. So we'll only punch the safe apples this time. And then now we got. It. Oh no. I uh, maybe put the pickaxe down over here so that we don't have to go all the way over here to get it later. Big Apple Three. One of these is gonna be Big Apple it's, One. Yeah. We're just gonna get them all. We know that it's pit, not Big Apple Two. Yeah. Here we go. You're back in control. Okay. Oh, why do you put it down? Because I clicked on that spot with okay. hand. Okay. Come. So. Put it over here. There's okay, the apple yep, one. yep, yep, yep. Okay. Big apple three. It's interesting that it matters the order of the apples you put them in. Yeah. They're like, you can't put Apple 2 down. Okay, they're excited, so I don't so know I, that you need Apple 3. You don't think so? You're just getting across? Get oh, yeah, we totally can get across. Okay, Nice. Well. Okay, let's go get the our pickaxe over here. Now, the question is, like, after we do this, are we going back to the wizard's house, or are we just done with the wizard's know. house? Um, this is interesting too, though, because like I'm curious. Before you pickaxe that, mm -hmm. can the wizard cast a spell on this stone with a little like swan carving on it? The little swan carving oh, over here. Yeah, like I'm just curious if that is a thing. I guess let's go see. Because like there's nothing, there's nothing in the handbook about it, but there's got to be extra things. It did nothing. It did nothing. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe that's just the, an S for the name of one of the artists or something. Maybe. Put it in there. A little Easter egg. Okay. Let's try. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's excited. So They're not getting mad anymore. I guess we don't need our pickaxe We lost anymore. some hit points somehow too, by the way. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. We got the code. And then you just click the mouse. Wait. Oh, you went off screen. You crazy the person. <laughs> Nobody at home sees that, but we accidentally made the window not there. So we're going back. We're so back maybe we are house. going in the house, just we weren't yet. What happens now? Well, here's what's ridiculous. Even simple knocking. Hmm. Oh, never uh, mind. All it cost was one gemstone. What did it cost you? Everything. Everything, yes. Or <laughs> the C3. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the wizard. He wants something. He's got his hand out. He does. What do we have, though? All we've got. Did we give him the. No, we just showed him the diamond. Ah. Uh, okay. Do we have it still? Yeah, you have to use fist. There we go. Fist mode. Maybe it's not in his hand. Maybe it's in front of his hand. Or are, we, are we not the right guy? No, you're the right guy. You just have to be closer. Hmm. Maybe try clicking on the desk in front of him. Maybe click on the wizard? He's confused. Well, what well, else can we do then? Just start doing stuff. We got some bottles of something? Potion? What if we use the wizard? Wizards on wizards? Wizard on wizard violence? <laughs> Just showing him, you know, that we are magic you have, too. You gotta have your fist out if you wanna do magic. I mean, there's a lot of other things in the room you can cast spells on. What about this spell book over here? You can't quite reach that yet. Maybe this little guy. Whoa! Well, that one didn't work well. 
Did we lose oh, see, he's points? smart if behind it this time. You gotta yeah. say. Now what? Can we climb up here? Still, still waiting for something. Ah, there we go. But now what? This guy can't mm. <laughs> give him anything. Can we hand? Yep. Oh, maybe we have to hand it to him. But then it just he clicks on him, so. Can this guy go up? Maybe that's all we need. Oh. You gotta be in, yeah, walk mode. It seems like the only one that could go up, it seems it's to be like the worst. guy. Hmm. Well. I mean, there are other items in the room. There are. We see that there are. This book, book is outlined, these two, these two little... Mustard jars, yeah. they look like, but I don't think that's what they are. Those seem to be the only things that are outlined. Let me go try and pick them up and see. Pot 2. <laughs> so, I mean, the one thing I've realized about this game from the apples I think is that you probably one. want Pot 1 first. <laughs> well... Let's pick up pot one. There you go, you have pot one. I don't know what pot one does. Can we use it on this other guy to make this other guy? Girl, we can't go up there. Can we use it over here? Come on, guy. Try clicking down a little further so he gets off that oh, button. There you go. I think the multi-level uh, pathfinding isn't quite as easy. Oh, he's happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Does he need the other one now? I think he does. Well, you might... You, you probably need it eventually, I would think. Did Pot 1 refill? Oh. I don't know, yeah. Is that Pot 1 again? I... <laughs> it's a snake in a pot. Uh, maybe we don't even need that one. Maybe not. Well, what happens if you try to go past the plant now? Yeah. You gotta switch to warrior, dude. This guy? Yeah. Can you get over there now? You can't switch guys for some reason. I think it's because you're on a ladder. He was already down, though. Okay. There you go. Now you're officially down. This guy, you mean? Yeah. Yes, he can. And it's not angry anymore. He's gonna punch it down. Nice. Well, that was a thing. <laughs> no, nope. well, he can't reach it. Can the wizard? Yes. No. <laughs> Oh, this doesn't make much sense at all. So, I will tell you that you the clue? whole point of this room, yeah, this is your clue, is to give the wizard something. I thought we were trying to get away with doing something. This whole time, I thought we were trying to get away with it. Yeah. Like, oh, while well, he's waiting for us and not looking, mm -hmm. we're going to do something. No, he's just waiting for us to give him the diamond, and that's actually our goal. Okay, <laughs> so we should probably go get the diamond back. We should probably go get the diamond back. But also, maybe we're just we're, like we're little, so diamond, he can't see us or something. He, I guess he's too busy with his nose in the book. But you'd think that if he was really interested in the diamond, he'd be he like, just like, hey, look hey, over what's like, going let's on? take us along with this diamond yeah. to get here. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, you didn't actually punch him. Okay, <laughs> you're trying to now. <laughs> we got his attention. Yeah, you maybe not in a good way. Okay, so let's. Get you, dude. Can we give you the diamond now? Oh, can this guy get up now? Now, now it's ah! <laughs> He can climb the book. I see. But not the plant. There we go. All right, what's gonna happen? He explained it to him, and now there's a hole in the ground. So. Uh Guessing we're going down the hole. Well, it says go. <laughs> and 
we will go next time. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Bye.